What's a shul and what's or Torah? It's a story. And there's a real sense of continuity in that story. You have people from different backgrounds and different stories, but we come together in such a beautiful way. It's really more than just a shul. Or Torah sort of helps build who you are. Whether it's the holiday of Pesach, uh, an empty nester's dinner, the OT Beshert division, whether it's a family havdalah for young children, or Torah is an address for the community to connect to Torah. Everything flows from there. My favorite yearly thing that happens at the show is either food after Megillah reading, but I also love Sinfas Torah because of all the energy. The show's recent initiative to reach out to, to help people meet each other. Uh, I love that, the Bashir program. That's new, innovative, not everybody's doing that. Whether we're hosting an NCSY Shabbaton as we did a little while ago, whether we're hosting Yachad, or whether we're bringing in Bnei Akiva for a dinner here, we're trying to connect to the broader Jewish community. I think the, the informal things that we do together are also just amazing. The, the men's club does great stuff for, for the men sometimes. The women's group does some great stuff for the women. At the beginning of the year, we had this amazing food demo. It was just such an amazing experience to look out at the audience and see how many women we could touch within our community and also within the greater Chicago community. The men's club event, Four Cups, which is an event before uh, Pesach, and then Rabbi Engel, in particular, has been instrumental in starting the uh, Or Torah branch of the Smichat Chaver program. So has been extraordinarily fortunate to have extraordinary Rebbeim on any number of different levels. Rabbi Engel was a great role model for me. And also growing up, like I did go to the youth groups here and like I had great counselors. So like even from that young age, like. I was part of the community here. I remember early on, a message that Rabbi said is, yeah, we have groups here and they're great and your kids should go. And also you should bring your kids into shul for five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. I like that message, the idea that groups are not just, you know, to some place to dump your kids, but instead a place for your kids to experience shul, experience growth. The other thing that's really taken off recently is the Teen Minion. The Teen Minion is more than just tending Minion every single every single week. It's more to it's more to that. It's really taking that leadership role, and it really spills over into every other thing that you do. Having that role of inspiring other people. It's really, I think, just another example of the multi generational aspect. And we feel like this show is really uh, that's one of their goals. That's one of their values, and, and really resonates with us. Whether it's a kumzitz before slichot around Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, whether it's uh, the kedushim that we do around Sukkot time, there's just always different learning opportunities, different chesed opportunities, different singing opportunities to stay connected to one another and to Hashem. Ancient cultures, they built pyramids, or ziggurats, obelisks great monuments, great feats of um, architecture and of engineering to show their greatness and their prowess. Jewish people built schools, Jewish people built synagogues. But this shul is so much more than just bricks and mortar. This is our anchor. This is where we became parents. This is where our kids had their brisim. This is where they had their bar mitzvahs and their ufruf. So. We've lived life, and, and some of our closest friends had this journey with us, this journey of life. And what I love about the show is that's still happening. The show is the centering aspect of our lives, the place to turn to in bad times, in good times. We're there for one another, to support one another, uh, and to help us build our relationship with one another and with uh, our religion and our God. The shul is family. There's so much to be proud of. And I'm looking forward to what comes next.